We need to put an SSD here, but there's not really anywhere to do it. This is a Lenovo Think Center. Think, think Sentry. <clears throat> I don't know why they uh, why they call it Think Sentry with a uh, RE. And the uh, lighting is poor. I'm sorry. The sunlight went away. So let me just uh, turn the noise way up over here. Yeah. Let's see. There you go. You should be able to see. If you can't see at this point, um, frankly, it, it'd be a little concerning. A common thing that people need is to upgrade their computers with a solid state drive because solid state drives have become so affordable and I show a lot of laptop repair but I don't really show a whole lot of desktop SSD upgrade type stuff I think I have one video doing it to a brand new Dell desktop this is an older Lenovo. It's it's an Intel Core i5. It's it's got a weird model number. It's like MT-M something. Uh, we're gonna put this Mushkin Source SSD in. Not necessarily the best SSD. It is cheap. And the first thing we're gonna do is get the top off. So back here, they have thumb screws that were tightened really hard. So, I had to unscrew the thumb screws with a screwdriver before I could actually unscrew the thumb screws. Uh, very useless to have it set up that way, but them's the ropes. So, let me get this optimized a little better so I don't elbow my microphone too much. Um, uh, this is also the first time I've ever jacked a microphone into my Panasonic G7. So this desktop has the type of top that just slides off. I'm going to set it aside. Alright, <clears throat> now that we're in, most computers tend to have some kind of an instructional thing. Here, there are instructions that tell you pull these black clips to get the faceplate to fall off. This is pretty common for smaller computer cases, having the uh, the black clips holding the faceplate at the top and then you pull it away and it falls down. Now there are wires here. Some faceplates have no wires at all. They uh, are designed to just fall off but this one has wires so be careful with it. So according to this diagram you pop the faceplate and pull it away and then it indicates that you can potentially pull this up and that's it oh why this this PC speaker is just rolling around <laughs> there you go look, look at this beauty right here this PC speaker is just sort of floating in the case I, I don't know where it was mounted before but oh I see it I've, I've come to really hate Lenovo in general. Um, I never liked IBM. A lot of people like IBM because they think IBM is so great. Their, uh, their hardware is so great. IBM's hardware was never great. Uh, this solid state drive needs to go where this hard drive is. But we're going to run into a, a bit of an annoying problem. This hard drive is bottom mounted. So, <laughs> so it seems that the Lenovo gods really hate me. Um, because this drive is bottom mounted, if I yank all these screws out of it, um, the drive's just gonna fall. And there, I don't know of any brackets that can actually make this work. Um, I've never personally seen a bottom mount hard drive to two and a half inch hard drive mount bracket. So I had to hold the hard drive so it wouldn't fall. Right? Yeah. So here's the old hard drive. Clunk. Uh, come on. Clunk. There we go. Old hard drive. Now, here's where it gets ugly. We need to put an SSD here, but there's not really anywhere to do it. So, 
What do we do? What do we do with this silly setup here where there's not really any room or any, any good way to do this? Well, here's the answer. You take your SSD and you hook up the wires to it, like so, okay? Then, you need to go get a screw. Just make sure it'll work before you try it, but, yeah, it'll barely work. Yeah, if we move it up here, it will definitely work, okay. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this screw hole here, and we're gonna put it up to this hole that the hard drive is in, and we're gonna secure it with a whopping one screw. Let me go get a screw because you can't reuse these hard drive screws, these little hard drive screws that aren't gonna be focusable for the camera, I don't think. Um, you can't use these hard drive screws. Boop, focus camera, focus. Come on, you can focus on me, it's okay. It's not gonna happen. So you can't use these hard drive screws to uh, secure the solid state drive. You have to use the fine thread screws. Actually, the CD drive here has them. So I could just steal one of those. In fact, this is a pretty common tactic. Steal one of the uh, screws that holds in the optical drive. Preferably one of the back ones, or I don't know, or one of the front ones. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Steal an optical drive screw, make sure the optical drive stays put, but believe it or not, the optical drive will stay in with one screw. There are two flaps here with, with little bumps that are holding it. Steal an optical drive screw, that's step one. Step two, put it through a hard drive screw hole. Step three, someone is here, of course someone is here, why wouldn't someone be here? Right when I'm trying to do this. This is actually way more difficult than it ought to be. But once you get it lined up, that's basically the end of it. You know, hold the drive in the position you want it to stay forever and give it a nice, gentle but tight tweak. That drive is not going anywhere. If you are concerned about the drive going anywhere, get a piece of packing tape and put it on the other side. The solid state drives have no moving parts, so it doesn't really matter if they you know, might suffer some vibration from the CD drive or anything like that. That's it. Solid state drive installed. Just put the computer back together and you're done with the hardware side. <laughs> Pretty easy, right?